Okay, so here is a question that I have, and this is how I do my videos. I just get right into them. I don't do no intro or none of that stupid stuff because I don't believe in intros. But I have to ask this question. When you don't have anything in common with a person or other people, what, what do you do about that situation? What, what do you do when you're in that predicament where you're... And this might be with your own family. This might be with your own brothers and sisters. This might be with uh, people you know or people you see every day. You don't really have anything in common with them as people. And... It's kind of like, I don't mean to sound ignorant or any kind of way, but it's kind of like when you don't have things in common with people, it's kind of just like a high bye situation. You know what I'm saying? It's like if there's nothing to relate to, if there's nothing that I am interested in or something that fascinates me or... See, I, how I am as a person right now, I am not interested in any personal things with people. I am only interested in creativity. I'm only interested in things that, that I can prosper with or better my life with or something that I'm interested in or something that helps me along in this life somehow or whatever like i'm just not interested in personal things anymore you, you see what i'm saying i know this is very hard to understand but i'm just not interested in people's personal stuff anymore i'm just i'm just not and having to say that it, it's it's a thing that's it's very strange because you, you know people would say well if you're not interested if you're not interested in personal things with people then you're not interested in people you're not interested in people places and things well I don't know maybe I'm not maybe I'm not interested in people and mankind and stuff but I'm, I'm interested in creativity. I'm interested in creativity. I'm interested in things that I don't necessarily know about, that, that, that I can learn, that I can introspect on, that I can reflect on. And I'm only into genuine stuff. You know, and, and I'm sorry to say, but most of the world... Most people, they show you a phony side of themselves. They show you a programmed side of themselves. You know, when they're around people, they're acting a certain kind of way. It's like, I just don't have any time for it at all no more. It's like, I'm almost, I almost feel like I am disassociated from most of this world right now in my life. I just don't feel like I really have anything or too much in common. But I do have a lot in common, but it's the, the things that I am interested in, it's not just these everyday kind of normal things, even though some of that is mixed in with it. Like, I don't mind if somebody drinks coffee every day or someone has to get up and take a walk and do some of the mundane things. It's not that I'm against mundane things. I know we all do mundane things. But it's like, I, this is just where I'm at in my life right now. Like, I myself am only, the only thing that fascinates me or gets me going or makes me want to get up off my ass and do something is when I'm learning something about science or creativity or music or not even learning about music just experimenting just being what i'm being in the moment not trying to be anything just being what i am just self-expression and 
Like I just, it's like I just do whatever I can do to shun programmed conversation, if that's what I want to call it. I, I don't really look people in the eyes. I don't really talk much to people. I kind of shun people, if I'm being honest. And then I know what people might think is, oh, well, then you don't really have a passion or love or you don't really have something for people anymore. In a way, no, I don't. But in a way, I have something, like I said, for people's creativity. I have something for the world's creativity. I have something for intelligence. I have something for knowing the things that we might not quite understand, like mysterious stuff, scientific stuff. Like I'm always into that kind of stuff. I am kind of a hyper creative person, if I'm being honest. And this mundaneness, even though I'm a part of the mundaneness, even though I do a lot of mundane things myself, I drink coffee every day. I wake up every day. <laughs> I gotta go to a place that I go to every day. I have to do all the things that other people do, the mundane things we do. But it's like when I'm talking about something genuine and something creative and something like relatable with people, if I don't have anything in common or I can't relate or I can't talk about things I'm interested in. It's like I have no, I'm not interested. It's like I'm, I, I have no kind of drive or passion there. There's nothing there for, and that's not my fault. That's just how I am. That's just how I am as a person. But it's like, how can I put this? See, the only way that I can explain it is mankind really has nothing to offer me anymore. I am into the things that are mysterious. I am into the things of whatever you want to say it is, God or the creator or things that we don't quite understand or a side of us that most of us will not show people because we have this fear in us to be our creative selves. You see, we don't wanna really show the creative side of us because the creative side of us we know will be mocked. It will be judged, it will be talked about. People will say, oh, you shouldn't or you should or why do you do this and why don't you do that? Why are you being this? You know, and I'm sorry to say we have all been brainwashed and programmed and conditioned with things. 95% of the shit we know, we have been conditioned and brainwashed with. We've been conditioned, programmed, brainwashed with. And, and I think that to be the genuine person that we are, we must first understand that fact, that it's all like the shit they told us, I'm sorry to say, they got from the generations before, and I'm not saying some of it, the mundaneness, the originality is needed for us, but a lot of it is not needed at all. It's just extra baggage. It's just stuff that we talk about and act like we are to try to impress this phony fake side of ourselves. And I just, I don't have any time for it. And then I seem like I'm boring. I seem as though I'm this quiet guy that's disinterested in everyone and everything. And actually, it's the complete opposite. I'm waiting for the world to turn into a machine of hyper creativity. But yet, I have it in me. But if I wait for everybody, I can't wait for people. I can't go by what they're gonna do or what the world's gonna do. I can't do that anymore. Because it's like if I'm, if, if it's like uh, making a change in your life. If you're changing for other people, 
you're doing it for the wrong reasons. You can only change because you want to change yourself. I can only change because I want to make a change in my life for myself. I can't make a change in anybody else's life. I know this now. There's a deer. These deer, like they don't even pay you any mind. Hey deer, yeah. Can you guys see this deer over here? Hey. I don't know if you guys can see them over there. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them be. I'm not gonna bother them. Uh, so, I'm just to this, I am to this point in my life where I just do, even though I know I'm wasting time myself, I know that I'm wasting away and I'm wasting time continually. I can't help that I'm wasting time. That's just a fact of life. We're all wasting time. We're all wasting away, you know, we're running out of time. And like, I just think so much of the world is caught up on just too much bullshit. But then there is a side of the world that is, I'm very interested in, you know, I watch how people are studying cells and DNA and the, 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 the species around us and there's creative people that make music and there's people that are that are doing art and they're they're expressing themselves and they're not going by what the world thinks. They're 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 away from the world actually. See? This is why this stuff resonates with me when it says you are not of the world anymore. That means you're not of the program mentality that all the rest of the people are going by because they think they need to go by that. I'm not going by any of that shit anymore. I don't care about none of that stuff. It's all fake and phony anyway. And when we go to our homes at night and we close the door and we go into our own rooms, we know how phony or how fake or how much we lie to ourselves. Even I know this when I do this. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not part of it either because I'm a part of it too. I'm a part of the hypocrisy myself sometimes. But I get so tired of putting on this facade and this mask and, and trying to make myself seem a certain way. It, 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 it just, I don't have the energy or the strength to do that anymore for myself. And I don't. And it seems like I'm this very plain, average, Joe kind of guy. And sometimes there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being average, you know? But, but what I mean is I'm not like this. I'm someone that if I'm not in my solitude or my silence or I'm not by myself just letting things come to my mind, creative things or whatever comes to my mind, it's, it's like I either need to be doing something creative I either need to be building something and I'm not really doing a lot of these things right now because I'm in a position where I don't really have too many resources to do the things that I actually want to do. And I'm not lying, I really don't. But that's what I wish I had, that's what I want, that's what I need for myself, but I don't have that and I don't know of places that I can just go and say, hey, I want to come there to learn something. I want to know what you know. I want to learn what you, what you, you yourself have learned. I want to know for myself so I can apply it in my own life. And there's not enough chaperones. There's not enough people that are willing to say, hey, let me invite you here to show you what I know, to teach you what I have learned. There's not enough people like that in this world. There's just not. There's too many people, and I'm sorry to say this, but it's true. There's too many people that are just sitting back and watching the rest of the world do what it does and judging it and saying what they're doing instead of us living the lives that we really want to live. I'm sorry to say, but that's just a true fact. And that kind of world, 
I despise it, but in a way, I know that some of the mundaneness is just automatically there and I can't do anything about it. I can't change it. I can't make people see it. All that I can do is speak about it for myself. All that I can do is let it be known in a video and upload it to YouTube and whoever listens, listens. But I'm just, I just, it's very hard to explain this. I look for some kind of brotherhood in craft, in something creative, in something where we are learning something of each other from each other, but it has nothing to do with personal shit. It has nothing to do with bringing my personal life into it. I apply that to what I'm doing because it's my personal life, but I don't push it on another person. I don't say that you got to be like me. You got to act like me. Even though, if I'm being honest, I think I am a little bit of a control freak myself because I want things to be how I want them to be. That's just the truth. And listen, I am not here to bullshit or anything. I'm just here to say things for how they are. I am an expressionist. That's all I am. I am an expressionist that expresses myself and how I really feel. And if the world has anything to say about it, oh well, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Can't do nothing. That's out of my control. So in me, attempting to have control, I really don't have control. So what is the point of trying to have control? Doink, 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 there is no point. And I know in these videos sometimes, I am being kind of sarcastic because it's how I am. It's the only way I know how to be, but see, I won't lie, a lot of times, I am not really how I want to be around people because I know that more than likely they're not going to relate to what I'm doing or what I'm saying or how I think. And, and when we have that, there's no connection there. There's no resonating there. There's no understanding. There's no flowetry, then all it is, is it's just dull, hollow, pointless words that do nothing for either one of us. And then I feel like I'm just talking, I'm just blabbing, I'm just saying some shit that I don't even really want to say for the other person. And I would rather just not say anything. See, I would rather just be the guy, hey, see, these girls over here riding this bike, they probably think I'm nuts over here talking, but they don't even understand. They don't even know what I'm talking about because they're young girls. You know, they still have a lot of learning to do, but it's not their fault, but they have a lot of learning to do. She's waving like, hi, like, oh, that's the lonely, crazy guy over there that's talking to himself. Yeah, maybe I am the guy talking to myself, but I'm not crazy. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about and I've been through shit. But anyway, that's irrelevant to what I'm saying. See, I'm not making it about my personal life because I frankly don't care to say, oh, here's my personal life and you have to cater to my personal life. Fuck that. No, no, that, that, that's not how I am. That's not my personality. I don't care to push any of my shit on people. You see, it's like... I look for something so natural, something so genuine, something so real that it says what it says when it says it without even thinking anymore. It doesn't go by the programming and the brainwashing. It doesn't go by, oh, well, these people are around now, so I have to act this way. I got to I got to become this. I have to say these words. I got to do this little trickery, you know, I got to put on this mask, I got to wear this smile, I have to, you know, say all the right words for them. See, that is something that is so dead in me that I don't have the time or the energy or even the brain to do it anymore. And explaining that, 
I might seem like a weirdo. I might seem like a nutball to a lot of the rest of the world. But see, this is the very thing that I think goes over the heads of a lot of the world and the people in the world is that when people like me talk about things like this, even though I'm not making it personal, it kind of just goes over the heads. And it's just kind of like, I get you, but I'm still going to be that way. And it's like, I'll even say this, if you're somebody that you like pleasing people, then please people. If you're someone that needs to be around groups of people, be around groups of people. If you're someone that wants to be alone and you like being by yourself, be alone and be by yourself. Don't force yourself to be anything you're not for other people. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of our energy. It's, it, it's like I said, if I'm trying to change for somebody else, I know that it's not authentic. It's not genuine to me. If I'm trying to be something I'm not around people, I know that that's not the real, genuine, authentic me. It's the fake me. And I can't be the fake me. I just can't do it for people anymore. And I'm not going to do it. So therefore, I automatically kind of feel like an outcast. I kind of feel like alien to the rest of the world because I'm not worried about fitting in anymore. I'm not worried about living up to the expectations of other people. I'm not worried about their judgments anymore. I frankly don't give a shit about their judgments. I don't care what they're saying. I am that I am. Everybody is who they are. You know, it's like if we're not resonating on that, then what are we resonating on? We're resonating on some programmed, stupid, irrelevant, irrational, whatever kind of bull crap. That's what we're doing. If we're resonating on something else besides, is this really me? Do I really wanna say that or do I not wanna say that? When I do this, do I really want to do it or do I really not want to do it? See, I think we have come into an age today. I think we have come into the age of acting and trying to make ourselves perceive to, to be something that we're really not for other people on camera, on our channels, in our lives and all this stuff and people they're putting on a smile but then when they turn off the camera, when they put it down, they're frowning and they're depressed and they're down and out and they don't know what to do and they're crying and they're, they're miserable. And I'm like, if you can't represent the genuine side of yourself, then you're always gonna know unto yourself that you're faking it and you're gonna keep putting a burden on yourself. That's all that we're going to keep doing is putting this stupid, awkward, disingenuous burden on ourselves because we're trying to be something for the world that we were never, that we weren't. And it's like, here's how, there was a time where you were what you were. Like, whatever you are is what you are. If you are a Latino woman, you're a woman that is labeled a Latina woman. You, you can't be anything but what you are. You already are what you are. You see what I'm saying? Like, why do we have to be reminded of this? Because we live in a world, we live in a fake world. We live in a world where the disingenuineness kind of takes over. And then when someone real walks in a room, when someone genuine, when someone authentic, when someone that is not going to put on for the world walks in a room, they stand out like a sore thumb. And they know that. They know that. But it's not to be cocky. It's not to be prideful, like, oh, I know and they don't know. I'm not saying it like that. I'm saying it's, it's a resonance thing. It's something that resonates. You don't even have to speak anymore. I don't even have to do these videos, really. 
my body language and the way that I represent myself and the way that I carry myself alone speaks to people. They're not stupid, they know, people know. People are not dumb, but yet there are some people in the world that are immensely stupid. I mean, I, I'm sorry to say, but that's just the truth. Like there's some people that don't care about learning things. They're, they're not studying anything. They're not looking into stuff. They're not learning for themselves. They're too worried about the rest of the world and judging the rest of the world and saying, what are other people going to think of me if I do this? And that is not genuine. That's all I'm saying. It's just not genuine. It's not genuine. And only those people know that thing. Only they can know that for themselves. And it doesn't mean that you're selfish because you're focusing on your own life or you're doing your own thing. See, we got to get this word selfish out of our vocabulary because everybody is selfish. Everybody needs to be selfish in this world and we can be giving if we want to. And everybody is addicted to something. We're all addicts. We're all addicted to something here. All of us. This is something that I thought about the other day and I said, when you go from one addiction and you leave that addiction, all you do is you go to something else that you feel as though you need to do for yourself or other people. But see, I think if you're not doing it for yourself, it's not genuine. I think if you're doing it for others to impress them or to say, I got to do it for you, it's not genuine. It has to come from the person itself. It has to come from the individual to be genuine. It doesn't mean that I don't, like, I don't want to help someone or I don't want to, if I see someone that needs a drink or someone needs food or something like that, that's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about your personal things, our personal things, but not putting it off on another person. You see, I don't care to get involved with other people's personal things because I can't do anything about anybody else's personal stuff. I can't make them do anything. And this is what I've learned in my life is only I can do what I do. And that is a selfish thing naturally. And it, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a good thing to be selfish, but to be giving when we can be giving, you see. That's what I think for myself. I don't need to say I believe that because it's not a belief system. It, it's just the way that it is. But look, I don't know. Like I said, I can only judge my own character and I can only be my own character. And the things I'm interested in, I realize that you can't make anybody be interested in it with you. You, you just can't do it. If you're interested in something, go do it. Go for it because you only got one life to live. That's it. You don't get 10 lives to do this. And the more that I recognize that, the more I'm saying, well, what do I really want to do with my life? What am I doing with my life? And I know what I want to do. And I know what I need to do for myself too. Even though I'm not doing everything I want to do or need to do, I know what I want to need to do for myself. And only I can know that for me. And I make a mistake when I start thinking that I can somehow do something for other people or make them be what I am or say what I say or do what I do. It doesn't work like that and it never will work like that. This is why it all comes down to the mind of the individual person. This is why we admire individuals. This is why every single person is unique. Every person is unique, but do, do all of us know that we are unique, that we all are different? But yet we do a lot of the same mundane things. Yeah, of course. But I don't know, it's just, for me, it is, if, if I don't relate to something, or I'm not interested in something, or I'm not, doing something that I really want to do in my life, I'm very disinterested. I'm very numb. I'm very dissociated. I'm very 
I'm not into it. I'm not a part of what's going on. I don't feel like I'm supposed to be there at that time. That's just how I feel as a person and that's how I am. And I think a lot of people, they force themselves to be in predicaments and situations and lifestyles that they don't even want to be in for other people. And it's, it's a shame that so much of the world is like that. Because I'm still someone, I'm for individuality, but I'm for individuality amongst people. You see, and it's very hard to explain that. Like, how can you be an individual amongst other people? How can you have a craft? How can you have an art or a skill or a trade or entrepreneurship or something that you're, it's, you're, you're, you're prospering in it along with others. Like everybody's getting something out of it, but it's individuals doing individual things. It's not about me pushing my personal things on you or you pushing your personal things on me because frankly, I know that you don't care and frankly, I don't care. So I'm not gonna do that. I don't know, I guess I could call it kind of like a laid back, tough love kind of thing. It, it, it's when it's necessary, it's necessary. When it's not necessary, it's not necessary. And it's kind of like having a discernment to know when it's necessary and when it's not necessary. It's a discernment thing. It's a thing that comes down to basically understanding ourselves and understanding our own predicaments and understanding our own lives. And that takes a lot of time. That takes a lot of learning. It, it, it might take philosophy and other things, but yet philosophy is a double-edged thing too because philosophy can drive you mad or philosophy can teach you a lot of things. Philosophy has done both to me. Philosophy has drove me crazy and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into why, but it has drove me to almost utter madness. But at the same time, I have learned a lot of stuff from philosophy. So there it is. And I will leave you with that contradiction. And just know if you're supporting me as a person, you're supporting understanding of the contradictions. You're supporting that for yourself if you support me as a person. And any support I get, I always appreciate as a person because I need it as a person. And we all need some kind of support. Am I right or am I wrong? We all need some kind of support while we're here. And even though I might not be skillful, a skillful promoter or a skillful person with my tongue, you know, I say it how I say it because only I know how to say it for myself. I can't try to be some articulator of words to get to sway people to donate to my PayPal or to uh, give something or to help support my channel. That's not how I am as a person. You know, it's gonna come how it comes. And if I'm on the lower scale, so be it. If I'm on the upper scale, so be it. It doesn't really matter to me because I was genuine and I knew that I was genuine. And I think that's all that counts at the end of the day is knowing you were genuine with yourself. Peace and hair grease. Later, take care of yourselves because remember, Nobody else is going to take care of you more than you. Always remember that. Later, y'all. Take care.